was cracker Lizak and Fed Namley. Um I got a very important message for you. Uh yesterday I was meditating on. I'm about to start this like series or program or whatever in the near future about how to retain your zeal about contentment of solely being chosen by God, of solely being in Messiah. It's what's kept me in the faith all these years, not depending on any men, not uh, being taken down by a lack of acceptance by man, not uh, being worried about people. But there's a process involved in order to get to where you are solely content on being called by Jesus. Um, and that process has to start with healing and deliverance, which would take an honest assessment of where you really are. You can't be lying to yourself or you can't be setting yourself up in snares and trap like, well, um, you know, it's not God's timing for me to uh, not overcome these specific things. And so what, cause that just leaves the door open for uh, demonic activity and spirits to come in and mess with you and, and, you know, knock you off your square. You got to be um, <clears throat> pressing and fighting and, and, and with every ounce. It wouldn't say heart, mind, soul and strength if it didn't require all that. To walk with the Lord. He said you even have to deny yourself. To walk with Messiah. So. But there's a process. In order to actually really feel. Um, right about that. And for one. Off the top you got to be. Um, free of bondage. You know what I'm saying. You cannot be bound hearing all these voices. Pulling you this way and that way. Um, you know, an addiction, there's no way. So, cause otherwise you will not feel the peace of God. God can't, the Holy spirit can't sit there and give you the full experience. If you, if it's competing with some other spirits, you know, it can't, Liberty can't sit there and chill in you. If bondage is right, chilling in you at the same time, and you're even protecting it and supporting it. So you would have to have deliverance first. You would have to have freedom first. You would have to have, um, th uh, so, so the first thing you must focus on, set forth the goal. I will be free first. Use the power God's given you instead of correcting everyone else and pointing out where everyone else is going wrong. Focus on yourself first where you may be going wrong, where you may be in error, where you may be compromising or making excuses and use God's power to focus in on that in his, in the vessel that you are in, in the servant, you are a servant of the most high God focus on where you are falling short and use the Holy spirit's power to rearrange that. Then, you will be set up on a platform where clarity and the voice of God will come in clear and you will start to see, um, oh, so I was doing this, this, and this. And then it gives you a sermon on all that stuff. It gives you a message on all that stuff. It gives you a platform and you can walk in authority pertaining to those snares that were in your life. And then you will be exalted in, you know, by God. So we are playing a huge role disciplinary role in ourself holding ourselves accountable to the truth once we know and then we fight it we are rebelling against truth in all kind of little ways so we want to line up <clears throat> and then we will start to receive from on high exaltation anointing uh, authority clarity you know how to you know, you can't really love others if you ain't loving yourself. And if you lie into yourself where you are even at in the deliverance, you know, it's, it, I was talking to a homie the other day, crossing the T's and dotting the I's. There is a process and you want to eliminate first things first. And then, 
you have a straight season or seasons of this consistent discipline and deliverance. Because I'm telling you, from me to you, if you play with God, he can just sit you down and run and allow you to run yourself through all kind of mucky seasons for years if he wants to, if you will not get right. You see what I'm saying? I was, I've been going back and forth with people about um, marijuana and stuff. You're, you're saying God bless you with medicine, but you know what? God can bless you with greater stuff than medicine. He can bless you with freedom from medicine. He, and then you can help others get off medicine. So medicine should just be like, man, I, I got a headache. I need to take this. But you know what? God going to deal or deliver me from headaches. Instead of just being like, I'm, I, I accept and surrender to the headache I'm going to have for the rest of my life. Does that sound cool? No, that sounds hindered. That sounds uh, like a, a lifetime of impairment. And that's trickery from the devil. So, you know, obviously being set free and free indeed is biblical. Anointed uh, is biblical. The anointing breaks the stronghold. So there shouldn't be addiction. There shouldn't be anything unhealthy in a man of God's life. Nothing unhealthy. And if there is, I understand, I've been there, but you should have a conviction and there is a steam out there to desire to be free from all of it, to be entirely healed. Otherwise, you're selling the power of the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ completely short of what he can do in your life. And that's not giving him the proper supernatural healing image. Now, I'm not perfect, and it's definitely taken me the backwards route to get to where I am saying all this. But at the same time, I am here today. It's not about who I was and what I've done, but I am here today saying I am thankful that the Holy Spirit led me to stand against drug abuse, smoking, alcoholism, and other brothers, you know, uh, put me on blast with it. And I, you know, had enough faith to see myself through very sketchy times of temptation where I was really weak and I was getting angry and I could have went back, but I held my ground. And here I am today liberated saying, you know what? Being set free is OG. Being set free is the most high. You want to be free from bondage. You don't want your leg in a snare or in a bear trap that it makes your the, the wound raw and it just sits there and holds you back, holds you down, keeps you sick. You know what I'm saying? See people out here on uh, marijuana that swear it's from God and they look sick. I've seen them without weed and they don't look sick. Their body weight looks normal and stuff. So you can't convince me that that is somehow um, the most high. No, it's not the most high, though. And if you're really into getting high, you'd want to be the most high. And the most high would be completely off the little uh, weak highs, off the little low highs. Off the, Those are low highs. You see what I'm saying? Those are not the most high. The most high have you genuinely smiling. I see people out here all trying to represent chronic, and they don't even have the freedom to smile. They hardly have the peace. You see, my eye got a sparkle. You see, my face got a smile. And I don't need drugs to do that for once in my life. And that's through the power of Christ. You represent Christ. And it's real. The deliverance is there. But it's even more so than that. You want the platform to save souls and pull people out of hell. You need power to do that. The spirit show up with a display of power. You need power to do that. You need a healing power. Yeah, help people reconcile. And they need to face their issues and deliverance. So you need full power, full physical integrity, mental, spiritual integrity. You need all of it, heart, mind, soul, strength. You need all of what God made you to be, to even have a relationship with God, to even walk with God, and to even be used by God. And so that's why a lot of people out here, the only thing they can focus on is themselves because their head's barely above water in this life. And they don't have the uh, empowerment from God to be able to be a vessel 
to help others. When you want hundred, it's easy to help others. You know what I'm saying? And this spiritual stuff, you can't buy it with money. It takes heart. It takes commitment in the spirit. The spirit is sensitive. It don't want to smoke with you. The spirit of God does not want to kick it in your compromise and to pursue sin and to help destroy you. You know, you out here killing yourself, slow suicide or whatever with drug abuse. The spirit don't like that. The spirit says thou shall not kill. You see what I'm saying? So deliverance, then you have freedom. Then you walk in freedom for seasons. Then you have integrity of walking in freedom. People start to trust you. The anointing can work on you, fill you up. You Now you represent.